Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject data structures for binary search tree. So in the previous videos, I explained about the binary trees. Now let us uh, see what is this binary search tree. So before going to know about this binary uh, search tree, uh, I want to just recall the terminologies that we used on the tree. A tree consists of some terminologies. So let me show you those terminologies. Let us, this is a tree. Okay, let's take this as a tree, a binary tree. So here, uh, this node, you call it as a root or a parent. We already know that, a root or a parent. And the last node, that we call it as a leaf node. So this, these are the leaf nodes. Okay, in between uh, the root node and the leaf nodes, we are having the internal nodes. These are the interior nodes. So, these are the different terminologies that we used in the uh, trees. Now, let's see how to find out the height. This is the height of a tree. So, the distance from root to the leaf is called the height of a uh, that particular node. So, each node height will be calculated based on the distance from that uh, the way you are considering and that uh, root to the leaf the complete height will be calculated from root to the leaf distance between root to the leaf is uh, determined as the height distance from root to leaf is called as a height of a tree that is a hedge so why is it important is it important to know the height of a tree Okay, is it important to know the height of the node uh, in which uh, height the node is present? Yes, because the tree operations like whatever we are doing, insertion, deletion and retrieving, etc. All these operations are typically expressed in terms of height of the tree only. If you want to insert the element, you have to know the height of that one. So, it can be stated that the tree height H this is this is the, the tree height h is determines running time now let us uh, come to the, our main topic that is a binary search tree so i hope you understand why we are using the height so if you know uh, why we are using the height then we uh, you will understand in the coming videos okay coming topics so this is the height from root to the leaf you call it as a height of a tree in binary search tree now I am telling the definition of this binary search tree. In the binary search tree, node's left child must have values less than its. First, let me write the definition. Then I will explain what exactly the binary search tree is. In binary search tree, node's left child must have values less than its less than its root or a parent value and nodes right child must have must have a greater must have greater than its parent or root value so this is a, a binary search tree so, the binary search tree will be arranged in the way that this is a root node, okay. So, the left hand should be less than the root node and the right hand should be the greater than the root node. So, in that way, you have to arrange the values in the binary search tree. So, whereas in the binary tree, you are just thinking that is it is only having the at most two, uh, no, uh, two children, okay. But in the binary search tree, uh, nodes left child must have values less than its parent. So, this side is less and this side is more, okay. And the simple way, what we can say, uh, the smaller values, smaller values in left subtree, 
a binary search tree, you have to arrange the values in the way that the smaller values in left subtree and the larger values in right subtree. That means let us take a uh, layer, this is an X, Y, and Z. Okay, so here X should be greater than Y. X is larger than Y and X should be less than Z. X is less than Z. So this is the way you have to arrange the uh, elements in the binary tree. Okay, so let me explain some examples. Examples. Uh, let's take some trees. We will check whether that trees are uh, in the form of binary search tree or not. 10, 5, 2, okay, 40, 20, 45. And I am taking another tree, 5, 2, 30, 20, 10, 25. Okay, now we will check whether these trees are binary tree or not. So, how you uh, what is our condition? The left side sh should be less than the root node and the right side should be greater than the root node. Now, check. The left side of this root node is less than 10. The 5 is less than 10. Okay. And the 2 is less than 10. Okay. And here the right side should be greater than the root value. 40 is greater than 10. 20 is greater than 10. 45 is greater than 10. Okay, this is a binary search tree. Okay, we can say this is a binary search tree. Now check this. The left side should be greater, less than 5. Okay, and the right side of the 5 should be greater than that 5. So 30 is greater than 5. 20 is greater than 5. 10 is greater than 5. 25 is greater than 5. So whatever the uh, left or right, the from the root, the right side should be all greater and the left side should be all less. So, this tree is also in the binary search tree. And let me take one more example. Let's take suppose 10, 5, 2, 25, 45, 30. So, is this tree is in binary search? Now check. So the 5 is less than 10. Okay. And the 2 is less than 5. Okay. The left side should be is greater. And here the 5 is greater than uh, less than 25. This condition is okay. But here when compared to the root, the left side should all should be less than 10. And right side should be all greater than 10. But here the left hand side of the 10 is 25 which is not less than 10. So, this is not a binary search tree. Okay, but this is a binary tree, but not a binary search tree. This tree is binary tree. Why I am saying this tree is binary tree? Because here each node can have at most two children. So, this is a binary tree, but it is not a binary search tree. Why it is not bi binary search tree? The left hand side is greater than the root node. So, that is why it is not a binary search tree. Okay. So, in the next video, I will explain uh, the binary search tree algorithm. Thank you.